Now I'm going to cook for you a really fun, fresh dish. Some pork skewers grilled, and I'm going to wrap it up in lettuce leaf with very fresh, vibrant herbs like prilla leaf, Vietnamese mint, and green mint. I'm going to start off with a really simple marinade. Now the marinade, I've got a bit of sugar. Now the sugar, you've got to balance it out with some fish sauce. So you've got sweet there, and then you've got your salty. Grab my chopstick here and just put that in around two tablespoons of fish sauce. Dissolve the sugar. And now for caramelization, I'm going to put in some honey as well. So around a spoon of honey, nice sweet honey. Once you grill the pork, this will just caramelize perfectly. Dissolve that as well. Bit of garlic in there, around one clove, just finely diced. And I've got some coarsely cracked black pepper in there. Nice, generous pinch of that. And now I'm going to bash some green spring onions. So a lot of those, just roughly chop them up. So I'm going to put this in my mortar and pestle, so it doesn't have to be too fine. That's perfect, that's enough. Now I've got really nice, heavy, good quality granite mortar and pestle here. This will last your lifetime. Now when my parents fled Vietnam, got to Thailand in the refugee camp, and we came to Australia, they brought over their own mortar and pestle. Now this is based on that exact one. Um, I love it. It's got a little bamboo base here. Won't ruin your bench, and it'll keep your mortar and pestle nice and firm and steady, so it won't move. So I'm going to put that in there and pound it into a nice fine paste. Now I always prefer to use a mortar pestle for these kind of jobs, not a food processor. It just gives a better quality paste. It doesn't bruise it and release all this liquid. Now, as you can see, that's perfect. Come check this out. That's what you want, the cons consistency of that. It's good. Now I'm going to transfer my spring onions into my marinade. Oh, that's kind of nice and oniony, spicy in my eyes. Scoop it all out. This will give great colour and release a lot of flavour into the pork. That looks good. I'll just mix that together. And I'll just let that sit there for a couple of minutes while I slice up my pork neck. Perfect. Now I like using pork neck because it's quite lean, but there's a bit of speckles of fat in there, so lots of flavour. Now try to slice that against the grain as thin as you can, around two millimetres or so. Now I've got around 500 grams here. Finally slice that. So straight into the marinade. And what you've got to try to do now is massage all the pork neck with the beautiful spring onion, honey fish sauce marinade, and black pepper. Now once that's all coated with the marinade, you want to enclose all the flavor with a bit of vegetable oil as well. So just a couple of tablespoons of that and cover it up, put it in the fridge for a couple of hours. But if you have time, overnight will give you best results. Now the pork neck has absorbed all the beautiful marinade. Now I'm going to skewer them with my bamboo skewers. Now before you use your skewers, you need to soak them in cold water for around half an hour. What this does is it doesn't allow the skewers to burn while you're grilling them. So thread it through there. Long threads. Perfect. Now in Vietnam, this dish is typically found on the street, char-grilled curbside, but today I've got my indoor barbecue, my griddle pan. I turn it on quite high, get it quite hot. Now this is a ceramic interior, so it withstands a lot of heat, three times tougher than any non-stick surface, and it's griddled, so it'll give the perfect char-grilled mark on my pork. Once your griddle pan's quite hot, I'm going to reduce the heat to just a medium-high heat and throw my skewers on. I don't want to overcook them, maybe two or three minutes on each side. And as I put them on, you get a nice searing sound and all the aromas of the spring onion coming out there. And the honey will slowly caramelize, make a perfect golden brown color. Beautiful color, look at that. Nicely caramelized, gorgeous. And they smell just fantastic. A couple of minutes on that side and I'll be ready to serve them. Now to serve this dish, you've got to have a nice long platter in the middle of the table, a nice fluffy bed of vermicelli noodles, 
lettuce leaves, prill leaf, mint, any type of mint you want to use. And I'm just going to garnish this with a bit of shallot oil or spring onion oil. Some fried garlic for lots of flavour and texture. Some fried shallots. And a bit more crunch. Some roasted crushed peanuts. That's gorgeous. Now what you do now is you grab a piece of lettuce. Now everyone at the table does this. It's fun, it's inter interactive and it's very, very healthy. Grab a piece of pork there, some vermicelli noodles, some prilla leaf, some mint. Get your hands in there, roll it all up. Look at that. Get your dipping fish sauce and you're dunking and dipping and... Mm. Absolutely delicious, the crunch. The freshness and the flavour, amazing, awesome.